Hello and welcome to another edition of Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Vanelli. Now, our topic today is restoring contrast and detail using the power of AI in our photo. Because let's face it, no matter what camera we're using, and whether we're shooting JPEG or RAW, we have to process our image at some point. So what I want to do is show you how to quickly use the power of AI to get you at least 90% of the way there. And then if you want to get creative, you can add or take away certain things within the photo. So this is going to be the image we'll be working with. And you guys met cute little Olive. He's a rescue kitten. So here's the before image. See how it kind of looks dull and flat? And this is what we're going to do just by using, you know, a few of the tools inside Luminar. Now, a um, couple things I need to ask you first when, we, when we're doing this. Do me a favor, please hit that thumbs up button if what we're doing you find is useful and you want us to keep supplying this content. And in the comments, any questions we have, please throw those questions out there. And if you have suggestions... For future shows, make sure you let us know. All right? Now, and I'm saying hello to a lot of my friends, great from Barbados, all over the place. Now, before we begin, we do want to take a moment and thank our partner, Fujifilm, for helping sponsor these. In fact, they were the ones who loaned me the, the, the X-T3 camera with a, a wide range of lenses to get some of these shots. Fuji reminds us to stay safe, stay creative, stay at home. And we're back. Good. So we have a lot of people coming in from all over the country. This is awesome. Barbados. And oh, thank you so much, Dave. Um, I don't have my glasses or contacts in, so I apologize. If I'm looking at the computer here, the monitor, and of course we have uh, this right here is a Windows um, Surface workstation. All right. So let's get started. So here we are with Olive. And by the way... <laughs> Yes, having a kitten is like having a new baby. So he's a handful, especially at night. I'm going to leave the crop option where it is. But I'm going to show you originally where it was. So, yes, I should fill the frame 100%. But like children, they can't get pets to stay in one spot. So this particular image was shot with the Fuji X-T3, the 16 to 55 millimeter lens, Keep in mind it has that 1.53 uh, ratio. So the 16 to 55 is really acting more like a 24 to 70. So look, I, wait till you see this. Let me bring it back up. And I'm just clicking on the uh, history tool here. And I'm bringing back the crop that I did. Look at the, at, look at the crispness of the, of the eyes. Even though I cropped it, we still have, let's see if I export this. Um, look at that. 2906 by 1937. So we could probably make this easily into an 8x10, um, a 16x20 print. The quality will still remain the same. All right. Yes, it's better to fill the frame, but I'd rather get the shot and not take a chance of missing it. All right. So I have the crop in, in place. Now, I'm going to start out within the essential tools. Now, the tools I always use are typically associated with the AI. Oh, let me put up here, sorry. With the AI enhancer. I'm going to click on this and boom, instantly. Look at this. Color, detail, tone, depth. Um, all of that's already improved. And it added these three tools for us. The number one tool that's going to do a lot of work for us is this AI enhancer. So I'm going to turn it on and off. Look at that. So that, that tool alone, that one tool alone is what's going to improve and bring back some of the contrast in the, detail, in, in the details of this image. So what I want to do is come up here to the light tool. And I did play around with the different white balances. Now, Here's the thing. If I want to copy all, I want to take this image. Let's see if I have, oh, okay, I don't. 
Um, if I have this image and I want to apply it to a whole group that are batch that are shot at the same time, then I can change the white balance to make it all even. If, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not, you know, uh, if, if all these images are shot at all different times of the day, the white balance is going to be different. So I'll leave it as shot. That's fine. But what I'm getting at is with the AI tools, right now it's at 64%. Notice the sky tool, the sky slider was applied, but since there's no sky in the image, it's grayed out. So it's not even going to affect the image. So what's neat about this and what it's telling you is that we're using 64 as a starting point for AI. So if the next image doesn't need uh, the contrast boosted up as much or the details, it'll only apply it equivalent to that 64. So it's not going to look at it. So no matter what, we're, uh, it already looks properly exposed. We don't care. We're going to add another quarter stop. The AI tools don't do that. The tools that, that do do that are the non-AI tools. So in this case here, highlights, I'm going to bring it down even lower. Even if it doesn't need it, it's going to apply a negative 94. Let's go to 100. Except because the, his coat is what's killing me here. Um, it's going to apply it no matter what. So those are things you'll have to go back and tweak if it doesn't look right in your image. All right? And then under the advanced, I do want to bring the blacks in just a little bit. Good. All right. So I, I love what we did with the AI, AI enhancer here. And by the way, let me go back up here to the light tool. Smart Contrast is using some of the AI technology. Look at that. So that's something I, I like to add in there. And notice how the histogram changed when I did that. Now the color. The green, and, I, and we mentioned this the other day. If the color is competing too much with the subject or the message of the image, get rid of it. Do something with it. So to me, that green is messing with, um, with olive. So I'm going to select green. And I just want to take the luminance of the green and I want to dial it. Look at that. I want to dial it back. How cool is that? Let me get more real estate. There we go. Right there. All right. So I dial back the darkness of the green. Right about here. Let's bring the saturation back just a little bit. Right there. Good. And... Let's see, um, from here, well, all I'm gonna do is this. Oh yeah, look, so now, now we know where that is. So maybe right about here, that looks good. And then reds, now the reds are probably in the tree. Let's see, yep. Okay, so look, look where the reds are. That's it. And what about the yellow or the oranges? Okay, I look, you see where the orange is? All right, that makes sense. All right, well, look at that. Now, we can turn it on and off. Look how that, that's bringing Olive out more. N notice how our, our emphasis is on her, or on him. All right, so that looks good there. And I like where we're heading. I do want a little more detail in here. So that's where I can go with the AI structure. Once again, we're going to use the power of AI to help bring detail back to the image. So I have a choice. If I go to a positive side, everything is going to get really crisp. If I go to the negative side, look at this. Everything here gets smooth. So let's make that decision. I want this here, this log, I really because it's in the forefront. I kind of want the, the, the log itself to have a little more um, structure to it. So I'm only going to add very little. And then boost, see what boost is doing? Boost is going to intensify the, the, the amount. Good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bring out more of the hidden details. Good. Before. And actually, let's go at 100%. Good, give it a moment to process, okay. 
Here we go. So we added it and we removed it. Good. All right, so I like where that is. While I'm here, I will increase a little bit of the detail and some of the fine details. That's good. All right, I really like where we're heading. Now I want to come down. Let's go to the advanced tools. Now for the advanced tools, um, I, I worked with contrast earlier. I just wasn't pleased with the way it came out, but let's try it again. See, see when I do this, I'm not liking what it's doing to his coat or to his fur. So we don't need to do anything with that. Let's see the midtones. Yeah, see. No, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with what we have. What about the shadows? No. So I'm not even gonna bother using the advanced contrast. For this particular image, we don't need to use it. And just because we have the tools doesn't mean we have to apply them all the time. Now the color enhancer, let's see what we can do here. That's a little too much. That's more for black and white. Um, let's see the warmth. Nope, we're good there too. All right. So I like where we're at there. Now notice um, if we used the AI tools for portrait skin enhancer and the portraits that we would like on a model, notice they're all grayed out. <coughs> and the reason for that is it's human aware. So this is an animal and um, Luminar recognizes, hey, this isn't a human, it's a pet. So it's not going to apply the AI tools to this. The Orton effect, I like type number two. Look what this is doing here. It's going to sharpen and blur the image at the same time. That, that's a neat effect. I'm not sure I like it 100%, but it's an option. I'm going to re bring it back. What I think I will like is mystical. So I'm going to go to an extreme just so you can see it. And look what it's doing. Not, let's not look at Olive. Let's look at what, Mystifi what um, mystical is doing here to the wood, to the wooded area. I can either smooth it out or sharpen it. And either make it richer or bring it back. All right, so I'm looking at this here before, after. I don't know. I, I, I'm really liking the way that looks. What I will do is for the edit mask, is I'll use a radio mask and I'm just going to draw it right on Olive here. This will show you where it's being applied. There we go. So now I kept the sharpness that I wanted in an olive, and at the same time, look what Mystical did with the outskirts. So I'll do it one more time. No, notice how the um, our vision is going right towards towards olive because Mystical is taking everything around it and giving it more of a dreamy look. But because we did that radial mask, we kept olive in perfect focus. All right. Let's see if there's any questions so far. Hello from England. Awesome. All right, guys. Let me double check one more thing. Dramatic. You know how much I love the dramatic tool. For this particular image, I don't know. I don't. I'm almost positive I'm not going to like the ass. I'm not going to like the effect on this. I love what it's doing to the wood. I like what it's doing to the wood. I'm not a fan of what it's doing to Olive. So let's see. So we have an option here. Either we skip it and we don't do it, or we go in and we do an edit mask. I can do a brush, erase the effect at 100% opacity. And I'll use my pen. Just draw it all over Olive and just get rid of the effect. 
That's what the mass did. Good. And there we have it. So, let's see if it does anything for us. Here's dramatic before and after. It, it, it's such a minor change. Let's see. Oh, let's bring the brightness down. Yeah, I guess it, it's, it's such a minor change that it's one of those things where now we're adding a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and you tell me, Vanelli, add a little, I want more salt, more pepper, and I just hand it to you and let you decide what you want to do with it. But overall, I, I like where that's heading. Let me see over here. Um, <laughs> my buddy Russell, yes, he's reminding us that, um, especially in Florida, there's going to be a ton of um, the sunrise and sunsets are going to be absolutely amazing because something, I forgot what it was, something is happening. And I wish I followed current events more. Um, but particles will be coming in. And yes, it's going to have incredible sunsets and sunrises. All right, guys, so what do you think of this so far? Before, after, look how it brings it back. And then what I would do in a case like this is save the look, underscore, let's call this um, uh, AI image, AI enhance mood. All right, so here's a custom enhance. Custom. These are the ones I did earlier. So this is one we did earlier, the first one. Then we did a little tweaking on this one here. Oh, I like this one better. Interesting. I, at first, I thought I would love this one. And then the one we did today just now is here. All right? So, I mean, three different looks. Three different looks we created each time. But the neat thing about it is that AI is going to come to our rescue every single time. So make sure you give that a try. Well, once again, I'm Vanelli. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And don't forget, if you like what we're doing, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below so we can come up with new content for you on the next Luminar Coffee Break. Thanks for joining us.